So the next graph you can uh, get in your exams is effect of repeated stimuli on simple muscle curve or simple muscle twitch that is genesis of fatigue. So in that you will get multiple curves like this that will be of different height and uh, the baseline will be shifted gradually upwards like this. Okay, so first few curves you can see the height is increasing but then height is gradually decreasing. So why on giving repeated stimuli of same strength height of the curves are increasing? That is because of beneficial effect. But then you can see what happens the height is gradually decreasing and also the duration of all the phases are increasing gradually and then later on the baseline is also coming little upwards. Okay, now this uh, phenomena of uh, baseline to come upwards is called as contraction remainder. Now uh, the first question, first and most important question in all the graphs may be identify the graph. So you would see the graph, there are multiple graphs of different heights and baseline is shifted upwards. So that is a graph of effect of repeated stimuli on simple muscle curve or genesis of fatigue. Now the second question may be what is fatigue? So what is fatigue? Fatigue is the decreasing working capacity of the muscle or cell on repeated contraction. So why? What is the cause of fatigue? Uh, the cause of fatigue may be on repeated stimuli on repeated several uh, stimuli or on repeated contraction, there may be decreased nutrient and oxygen supply, there may be depletion of acetylcholine stores and there may be accumulation of the metabolites. So all these may be causes of fatigue. Now the next question may be fatigue is reversible or irreversible. So fatigue is a reversible phenomena. On giving some rest, the fatigue goes, weans off. Why? Because on giving some rest, there is supply of oxygen, there is supply of nutrients, acetylcholine will get stored in the vesicles and of course there will be removal of the stored metabolites like lactic acid, potassium ions and all that. So uh, fatigue is a reversible phenomenon. Next question may be what is the cause for you know increased height of curves in the beginning. In the beginning we can see there is for, for few curves there is increased height of the curves. So why is that? That is because of beneficial effect. Now what is beneficial effect? In beneficial effect there is increased force of contraction or in other words there is increased height of contraction for few contractions. Why? Because gradually later on contractions are getting benefit from the previous contraction. Now what is benefit from the previous contraction? In previous contraction, there is release of calcium ions. So that calcium ions will take some time to get entry into the sarcoplasm reticulum because calcium ion come rapidly out of that, but go little slowly into the sarcoplasm reticulum. So more and more calcium ion will get accumulate will with the repeated contraction. So now because more calcium ions are available now, because of that, there will be more forceful contraction of the muscle because of more number of actin myosin fibers will get involved. Next, because of repeated contraction, there is increased temperature, there is increased enzymatic activity, there is increased metabolic activity in the cell. So that will also do forceful contraction or increased height of contraction. Next cause may be because of increased temperature, there is decreased viscosity around the muscle fibers. So because of that, there will be decreased resistance around the muscle or inside the muscle. So now the actin myosin fibers will contract more vigorously, more forcefully. So that is also cause for the increase force of contraction or in other words beneficial effects. So one is more release of calcium ions, uh, more uh, temperature, more enzymatic activity, more metabolic activity. More temperature will lead to decreased resistance, decreased viscosity, decreased resistance that will lead to increase or forceful contraction of the actin and myosin filaments. Next question may be uh, why baseline is shifted upwards with repeated contraction? Why baseline comes up? So this phenomena is also known as contraction remainder. So 
uh, with repeated contraction on uh, when the fatigue sets in the muscle is not able to relax completely so here there is incomplete relaxation of the muscle why there is incomplete relaxation because we know that for relaxation uh, we need uh, atps for detachment of the actin and myosin we need atps now because uh, during fatigue there is decrease decrease supply of the atps so that will lead to incomplete relaxation of the muscle that will lead to the contraction a remainder or upward shifting of the baseline of the curves so this is about fatigue uh, beneficial effect and uh, contraction remainder next question may be uh, what is the site of fatigue in a nerve muscle preparation so in nerve muscle preparation there is a nerve there is neuromuscular junction and there is a muscle so what is site of fatigue where the fatigue sets earlier so that is neuromuscular junction where the fatigue sets earlier if we talk about intact human beings so fatigue sets earlier in cns and that in the synapses of the brain so synapses of the brain is a site where fatigue sets earlier so uh, this is all about this curve and the important question which are asked in the viva